Kayla and today I want to talk all about using a cane also known as a white cane. Um, so first I'm going to show you briefly how it's used and then I'm going to talk about some pros and cons of using one. So this is my cane. It's not a white cane, it's hot pink so it's sassy like me and it folds up which makes it really handy because you can just tuck it under your chair if you're sitting down or you can fold it up and put it in your bag when you're not using it. So you just take off this strap and there you go. So the point of using a cane is that it will give you feedback and alert you of if there's like an obstacle in your path or it'll tell you when there's stairs or you can feel the difference between um, like the pavement and the grass um, so you can just walk around independently. Okay so how you use a cane is you um, swipe it back and forth on the ground in front of you and you do what's called walking in steps. So when you step out with your right foot your cane goes left. And when you step out with your left foot, your cane goes right. So like this. All right, and now my cane's telling me that the grass is over here. So I'll scoot over a little bit. And my orientation and mobility instructor told me it's like you have on big clown shoes and you're kicking your cane back and forth when you take a step. Okay, and now I found this obstacle, some kind of wall, and then I can use that to stay in a straight line if I just keep on hitting it like that. So that's how you walk with a cane. Alright, so I found some stairs, so I'm going to slide over to the rail so I can grab that and then tap the steps as I go up and now I'm flat. Okay, so that's pretty much just the basics of using a cane. There is a lot more to it. Usually people do what's called orientation and mobility training, where they receive training on the proper and most effective way to use a cane. Okay, so let's talk about using a cane and I'll discuss some pros and cons. Um, I hope this is specifically helpful for people who are considering starting to use a cane for the first time. I know that can be a really big step. I know it was for me at least. I didn't start using a cane until I was 18 and it was highly suggested that I use a cane before that, but I was just not having it. I wasn't ready. Everyone makes that decision to start using a cane in their own time when they are ready because like I said, it can be a big step. And a lot of people wonder if they are blind enough to use a cane. And you don't have to be totally blind to use a cane. I'm not. I'm legally blind and I use one. It's just that society has a hard time grasping the concept of legally blind or visually impaired. And they think that only completely blind people use a cane. But that's not true and that's their problem. So don't let that stop you from using a cane. If you think that you need to use a cane or you think it might help you in the slightest, then you are completely entitled to use a cane. Because if someone didn't need one, they wouldn't consider using one. So the biggest pro of using a cane is probably the most obvious one, and that's that you can just travel independently. You can walk around by yourself, you don't need a sighted person, and you can walk around safely and not have to worry about tripping over something or running into something or falling down some stairs. So you can travel independently and safely, which are both very important things. The second pro is that a cane kind of serves as an identifier because we don't walk around with visually impaired written on our forehead and, you know, we don't look blind. So People don't know that we can't see, but when we use this cane, it kind of warns people like, hey, I can't see you, so you need to watch out for me. So people will move out of your way so you don't run into them. Although not everyone moves out of your way, which really annoys me. It's also extremely important for cars and bikers so that they know that you can't see them, so then they can watch out for you and hopefully not run you over. 
And when people see you with it, they're just generally helpful. There have been a lot of times I've been walking with my cane and someone has said, hey, there's a giant puddle up ahead. You might want to come over this way and go around it. Or they'll say, there's construction up ahead. Do you want me to help you navigate around it? which is really helpful. I mean, sighted people don't need to warn someone that's using a cane about every little step or whatever because that's what the cane is for, but there are some obstacles that it's nice to be warned about ahead of time before we just find them with our cane. Now let's move on to the cons. These aren't a huge deal. I just think maybe they're worth mentioning. Okay, so using a cane can kind of be a hassle. Um, I don't know, just for me, sometimes it just really feels like a hassle to use it. For one, you only have one free hand. So if you got your cane in one hand, you have one free hand. So if you're talking on the phone in your other hand, you have no hands left to open a door or push the button on the crosswalk or whatever. If it's raining and you got your cane in one hand and your umbrella in your other hand, you have no more free hands. Um, so that can be frustrating sometimes. And another thing is that using my cane really hurts my wrist. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just a wimp, but it does, especially if I've been using it for like a long period of time. Also, sometimes it gets stuck in cracks and then I run into it and it stabs me in the stomach, which hurts, um, so that can be really frustrating. But there are different tips for your cane that you can use for that. So like some people use a pencil tip, which is kind of just like a pointy tip, and they tap their cane side to side. Um, that just wasn't working for me because it hurt my wrist even more to like be picking it up, and it got stuck in cracks a lot. Then there is the roller marshmallow tip. It's shaped like a marshmallow. Um, that's what I have now. It's pretty good about not getting stuck too much because it just rolls along on the ground. There's also a roller ball that's even better about not getting stuck in cracks and it's also good for like uneven grounds, like if you're walking in the grass or something that's not paved, that's good. But the ball is a little bit heavier than the marshmallow tip, so it hurts my wrist a little more. So you just kind of have to experiment with um, different tips and different strategies of using your cane and see what works best for you. There is no right way or best way, just whatever works best for you. And the last con is that people will stare at you. Um, this doesn't really bother me because I can't see people staring at me. The only reason I know that they are is because people I'm with tell me. So if you can't see people staring, it probably won't bother you. If you can, it may bother you, but it's something that you would probably get used to. And I think these people really don't mean to be rude, even though it is kind of rude to stare, but I think they're just curious. They're like, wow, I've never seen a blind person out in the wild before. And they just want to look at you and, and see how you use your cane and get around. I think they really are just curious. So like I said, none of these cons are like a big deal and they definitely shouldn't deter you from using a cane. And one more thing I want to talk about is there's kind of a debate in the blind community of whether you need to use the standard white cane or if it's okay to use one of the colored canes like I have. Because people say that the white cane is what's identifiable. And if your cane isn't white, then people don't recognize it as being a cane for a blind or visually impaired person. But my take on it is that if someone sees me with my hot pink cane, I just can't imagine them being like, well, that looks like one of those canes that blind people use and she's using it the same way, but it's not white. So I just don't know what it is. I just can't imagine people would think that and have no idea what it is just because it's pink. And when I used to use a white cane, I still had people ask me what it was or why I had it because, you know, I don't look blind. And so it didn't even matter that it was a white cane because people still apparently didn't know what it was. 
I think the colored canes are great. Um, with my hot pink cane, you know, I feel like it matches my style and my personality, and so I'm a lot more confident when I use it, and I think that's really important. Also, if someone is on the fence about using a cane, they'll probably be more likely to use a cane if they like the look of it and they feel like it matches their style, and I think that's really important too. So if colored canes make people more likely to use it and more confident while using it, I think that's really more important than anything. So if you're considering getting a colored cane, I say go for it. So that's about all I have to say about canes. If you are considering using a cane for the first time and you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you have any thoughts, anything you want to add, any advice for future or current cane users, please also leave those in the comments below. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.